how's it going and today I'm going to show you how to create a basic level a basic landscape lit landscape in Unreal Engine 5 this is just super basic I think it's important to do this just so that you have an understanding of the how everything works how the lighting works and how to get what are the components the bare minimum components that you need so to do this we're going to come into games and we're going to go to uh, click on we're going to make a blank project and we're just going to call this basic seven and we don't need any starter content and we'll just go create and it just takes a minute for that to upload and do its thing so we'll go ahead and let that do its thing and interestingly when it comes in it's not exactly a blank project i mean it says it's a blank project but it actually looks like a fairly completed world it's just that you've got these tiles here that seem pretty blank but other than that it looks like a pretty well-developed world so to create to start from a truly start truly from scratch we're going to right click on down here on the content browser and we're going to go to create a new level and we're just going to call this blank world and then I'm just going to double click on it I have to save it and now it opens up a new level and this is a completely blank scene so there's nothing in this world nothing at all so we're going to start from scratch so first thing we need is something to stand on is a as a world a floor so we're going to go into landscape and right now it brings in this kind of grid so on my mouse I'm hitting the middle mouse button and I'm moving up just so that I can have a viewpoint on this grid and that's there it is so this is like our the beginning of the matrix really I forget what they call it in the matrix the loading program <laughs> And then oh, we're going to leave everything on the default and we're just going to go uh, create. Now, interestingly, after it's finished building our landscape, we're thrown back into a world of darkness. And that doesn't seem to make a lot of sense, except for if you move your cursor, there's this thing. But we, we don't want to do any landscaping right now. So we're going to just switch our mode back to select and all that goes away. So now we're kind of, it seems like we're back to square one. I thought we created the floor, and we did, but there, it's just in darkness right now. So what we have to do is we come up here to this plus icon, and we're going to go in to visual effects, and, or no, I guess we go into light. That's right, directional light, which essentially mimics the sun in the sky. So we're going to double click that, and it brings the sun in and now here's the second kind of WTF is okay we built the floor and we brought in the sun but it's still it's still dark <laughs> so what's going on it has to do with the way the the sun the direction the sun is pointing it so what you have to do is you have to hit control L and that's kind of a weird keyboard combination on my because it's my index finger and my pinky but hit control L and then if you click on the screen, it's going to bring up this control here. It actually created a point light for some reason. So let me delete that. But he'll hit control L. And now if I just move my mouse, I'm holding down control plus L. You can see that this arrow here, you see that purple arrow? And as I move my mouse up, you see how I'm seeing the sun's pointing down on the floor. But if I move the arrow beneath the horizon of this that blue circle, everything goes dark. You see that? So it's very, very interesting. I'm not pressing right-clicking or left-clicking. I'm just moving my mouse and holding Control-L. And so as I do that, I can control the direction of the sun. If the sun is pointing like as if beneath the horizon and pointing up, then we go into darkness. It's like on the other side of the world. And if I bring it up where it's above the horizon, then here it's like at high noon, kind of right there. But it at least allows us to see our scene. So I'm just going to leave it like right about there and let go of control L. And that graphic thing, the controller goes away. So that's control plus L if you're not seeing anything. 
And now we've got this lit grid here, right? So you can start surfacing this and that. But of course we have this black void out here and we wanna get rid of that. So we come back up to our plus sign and we're gonna go into visual effects and we're gonna bring in what's called the sky atmosphere. And then right away that gives us a sky to look at and that's great but it didn't get rid of all of the void it just got rid of the void from the top of the sky down to the horizon and now we still have this kind of void so to hide that we can come back on the plus icon and go to visual effects and go to exponential height fog and click on that and that kind of brings in some fog and it could just be the ocean or something out there but then that basically hides kind of the scariness of deep dark space or something but we still have our grid and everything down here so so that's kind of our world right there now the only other thing that we might want to do is if we're concerned about shadows not filling in to cover in shadows we could come and add what's called now the other thing i meant to say is for our directional light we want it to be movable so we'll click on movable there and then let's see the sky atmosphere is movable and then the last thing we're going to do is add what's called a skylight and this is basically to fill in shadows of objects on the ground that are casting a shadow and then if you do spring that light in to fill in the shadows you set it to movable too and just click real-time capture and so this will fill in your shadows. But right now we have no shadows. Nothing's casting any shadows. So you can't really see what it's doing right there. But this basically fills in shadows. And this is your basic scene. And from here you can build any world that you want. From here, from this landscape. So the basic minimum requirements really are your directional light and your sky atmosphere and your skylight those three lights basically give you a complete and the exponential fog kind of hides kind of the void and that's it and of course your landscape your your, your ground plane your ground plane and that's basically your this is what i consider to be a blank truly blank scene and so i hope you found this helpful take care and have a great day and i will talk to you next time